Assalamu alaikum. In today's tutorial about twin to k, we shall discuss how to produce electron density plot. I have results of SCF calculation for titanium carbide. So I will use those results. If I use terminal to go to this directory. So actually I have the results saved in this directory 01.pb. I will use this result. So I will copy first all the files. Now you see I have the results of SCF calculation. Here is the SCF file. This is the structure file. So we can see the structure. This is the titanium carbide structure. Now to produce electron density plot, we go to task, then electron density. Now it says that we should have vector 5. But if you see here, I don't have vector 5 because I have the save the result where I didn't save the vector file. So to produce the vector file, I need to run LAPW. So what I will do, I will run it first. LAPW1. Now you can see that I have the vector file. So now I will run LAPW2. Here you have the option to select a minimum energy and the maximum energy and the, even the range also. So I will use the default value for the tutorial purpose. Now there are two options. You can produce the electron density with X crystal or you can produce by running LAPW5 and just preview it with the X crystal. I will show you both. So first I selected the calculate electron density with the X crystal. I will select here 2D density plot. Now here there are several options. The first one is number of points along one grid segment. I usually select this one and uh, I select the number of points in the grid to be 100. Then to select the atoms I click here so it gives me the option to select three atoms. So I will select this one, this one, this one. Now here it says that the select uh, plane for parallelogram. Now because this is cubic that's why I select it such a way that the middle atom is making the 90 degree angle with the other two atom. If you select like this way, this one, this one and then this one, then the parallelogram will not cover the whole uh, space between these four atoms. So this is important how you select. Depending on your system, you can select in different way, but for this cubic, actually you have to remember that the middle atom should have 90 degree angles with the other two. So I click on selected, just one more thing. You can select a different plane, whatever you like. So this is the option where you select if you want to select 111 or 100 or 110, whatever you like, you have to select the atom accordingly. So I click on selected. Now if let's see the parallelogram. So this is the parallelogram. But I like to extend it. So let me show you. So you can see this is only taking the plane is taking only taking one fourth of the atom. I would like to extend it. What I will do, I will extend it here. If I put 0.5 just to show you what happens. So you see it extended in this direction 50%. So I will put 0.5 with all of this. Now you can see it covered the space that I need it, uh, the, for all the atoms. So I submit now. It's just calculating. So you have the options here. I am calculating the uh, SCF density. You can choose different densities. If you do spin polarization calculation, then you can choose. I didn't do a spin polarization calculation here. So I will select this one. 
now so I want it to be rainbow so I will select like this so if I now you can see so I don't know whether you can see a not this is red but this around this atom yeah, that is the around the carbon atom these are yellowish let me reduce the size of the atom so let me get rid of the bond even so I'll click on modify uh, then bond to stick ratio so this is now 0.6 uh, you can make it small I'll make it zero so I don't have any bond now let's get rid of this uh, boundary so this is crystal cell I just get rid of this now maybe so if uh, there are little bit but we don't have uh, it's very clear let's do that I'll show the thermometer just to see the uh, scale and I will go to the ranges now now you can see the highest range is 3 so I will reduce this one so that I can uh, see the blue lines even let's make it 1 instead of 3.4 so I just have little bit but not very clear so 0.5 still not so let's make it 0.3 uh, now I have this line so I have red and I also have the blue lines to see. So uh, yes, I like to make this line even thin. So I'll go here, I say line. Let's make them one. So this is now even clearer. Let's get, up, uh, get rid of the thermometer just to show that to you. So here is the plot. This is the electron density plot now uh, there are one more thing you can select the color of these lines let's set the color to be white so from change uh, changing the energy range here you can make whatever color you like sorry the, the color range now this is much better so uh, this is the electron density for the titanium and the, for the carbon you can see the the different shape for of them because carbon ha or carbon has p so this is the the p orbital but titanium has higher orbital that's why the the sh shapes are different so you can export this from file you can say print crystal so let's save it to see if i go to the terminal of Uh, I don't have it. Uh, let's save it again. Sometimes it does happen like this. Uh, now I have it. So you have to check whether when you have saved before closing whether that, that is saved or not. So uh, there are some black colors. You can make them white. I'm just clicking in this button, you choose white background. So this color will be or you can zoom it to fill up the whole space okay so uh, just uh, you can save it again so you can use this uh, this is a very nice plot now let me show you how to do it with the other options so to do it with uh, the uh, with running LAPW I since I have all these things saved here I will delete all of them then I will start again from the scratch. Now I need to run LAPW1. So now I need to run LAPW2. Let's run the LAPW5. Now I can go here preview with the electron density. You can see already this is rainbow submit so the plane is already prepared let's make it 0 0.3 and let's make it 1 and set color let's set color white again as we did 
So you can see now to get rid of the stick. So you can see it now again. We have the nice plot. Okay. That's all for today. Thank you.